in order to create the 1688 account you have to create um, an account on the alipay yes in this lesson we are going to look at how best we can successfully create um, 1688 account without any hassle so when you get to this interface you then tap on the alipay if it is your first time seeing this interface you then click at this very part you click at this part means you you agree or if you you can make use of your high dictionary to translate it you see agree and the other one means disagree these are the terms and conditions of the alipay so you need to accept the, um, the, the the terms and conditions if you don't accept it you can proceed so we then click to accept then i click on allow allow i wait for the next interface from this interface you see where we have the this very part that is the uh, the chinese international um, calling code so i tap on that part you click at that part then among the list of countries with their various country codes you look for um, ghana you look for ghana so let's just scroll down a b c d uh, okay i look for ghana ghana should be here so this is ghana for us this is ghana if you live in nigeria and so on you also look for nigeria and you do save so i tap on ghana then from this interface where the cursor is blinking from here i type in the phone number that like i want to use so i type in correctly so you just look at it carefully don't type my phone number but try to use your phone number that will help so you need to confirm the number that you've typed if it is um, correct so i've confirmed so the next thing we have to do is to click on next so i click on next i wait for the next interface some text messages will be sent to the same phone the phone number that you have used so you get a pen and paper ready so that you get a text message the text message has come so the text message that will come or you see you you've seen with this one would differ from yours so when you get to this um, interface you have to um, agree to the service mm -hmm. agreement and uh, privacy protection so there is it so you click on agree so it takes us to the next um, interface so you wait you don't do anything from here the next interface will come i wait for a while so let's quickly read this you see is it try the international tailored for you so you say yes because you are uh, you are not in the chinese country at the moment so you are you should use the international version so i click on yes so this is the interface for the audi page so i click on next i click um while using the app so i wait for some pop-ups and things will come so i have to close this so this is the interface for the alipay we we are not done um, creating so we need to set a password for ourselves so when you get to this interface sorry for that when you get to this interface you see me this very part so you click there when you click there then the next interface is you see this part where you see um the phone number you've used to uh, create the account and you see nickname and set so we are going to set um, a name so where you have to click is to click at the arrow here you click on that arrow i tap on it then um we are going to write this number down so this is your um 1688 username this where what you see where you we have the tb and so on and so forth this one will differ from yours so that is the username for your 1688 your taobao your alipay and so on and so forth so you can use this to log into uh, this uh, site and what have you so let me go back so that we'll go and uh, do some settings on our phone so that's where you click to go back so now i tap here you tap on it successfully so when you get to this interface you then click on a profile where the avatar is you tap on it then the next thing is you see where we have the nickname and you see the pen there where the arrow is pointing you tap here the arrow where the arrow is pointing where we have the set nickname so and you see the pen there so i type there so what we are going to do is to um type a name of our choice it could be a real name it could be a nickname it could be the name of your enterprise so um i just put in uh, the name in there nicely then i click on uh, save i click on save 
so it has saved successfully so let me go back so let me now click on the me and see see if what we have done has taken effect so you click on me just as you can see now you see the name that i have entered you see that is there nicely now let's quickly look at how best we can set up a password to match up with the username the alipay has given us it is a default username that they will give you not uh, it's a user number that they will give you so the next thing we have to look here is to click on settings the settings up there so i click on the settings icon then from this interface we then try to locate sorry we then try to locate um the account and security account and security so i click on it i wait for it to open so depending on your internet connectivity it will open very fast for us now there are two options here we have um alipay password and login password there are two different things alipay password simply means if you have the chinese bank account details or and so on and so forth and you have linked your chinese bank account to the alipay that is where you need to set up a, a, a payment code just as we have uh, the four digit pin for our mobile money and so on and so forth now the login password simply means if you are logging into your alipay your system it's eight your tmall your taobao the password that you would you you will be required so you need to set up those passwords for yourself so since we are going to do that what we need is to is to set up a, a password a, a login password so i click on login password it is initiating security test now a code will be sent to us again the code is in so this code will differ from the one that you will be receiving so you can really pay close attention to that so you wait for it for the next interface to come so it has picked the so now when you get to this interface now when you get to this interface this very part you need to uh, type in the password that um, you, you you will not forget okay so you need to type in the password that you will not uh, forget so let me quickly type the password uh, like i want so oh, i quickly click on save so it's loading so from this pop-up so you see where we have this i'm repeating this again so you need to write this down so it means this is your username for your alipay your system it's eight your taobao and so tmall and so on and so forth so the password for this is the one that you have set so i then click on um, confirm so i click on confirm so we have confirmed it so now we are done we are done um, creating the password so i go back i go back so now that we are done creating the um the alipay account we then try to locate the 1688 uh, mobile app so this is what is going to happen now when i tap on the 1688 we are now going to log in into the 1688 so see what i am doing so this is the me as i said earlier the me so we are going to click at that part so we click at it now when you get here when you get to this interface you see this part it means you need to mark it or select it to tick then the next part is you see the blue part it means that the account the credentials that we have created in the alipay the 1688 want to pick the credential that is the username and the password that we have set to log into the 1688 for us so I first of all mark this to accept the terms and conditions then i click at the blue part so you see what is happening so it means the 1688 is taking the credentials from the alipay to log into the 1688 for us you know alipay and 1688 they are one company so any password that you've set works for both side by side so i click on login tap then it is not going you see this very part there's some checkbox there so you check it so you tap on where we previously tapped it has brought us back to this playlist so let's repeat the same procedure again let's log in so how do we know that we have been logged in successfully let me close this how do we know so you come back to the me this part then we click there to go and see so when you tap there you would see that you see at the top let me close this advertisements when you come here you see that your username your taobao or your alipay your system username is showing there if it is not showing there it means that your credentials hasn't been picked by the system from the alipay to sign you in successfully so as soon as it is showing here it means that you have been logged in successfully or you have um system account the next thing to detect as to whether you have been logged in successfully is when you you try to message a supplier and it has gone through so let's try let, let me just look for 
um, or let me just type blenders and try to um, message the supplier and see if it will go so that we best understand what we are talking about so let me just select the first one i tap on it so if i want to message this uh, supplier i then click on the message part this very part where the arrow is pointing means i want to chat with the supplier so i tap on that part do you see that it has opened but previously we can't when we even tap that place it will mind us so it means i'm sending this uh, message to uh, to the supplier so if i want to send this to the supplier i have to click on this very part that part and the link will go to the supplier meaning so let me just tap there so you see it has gone through so if i want to message the supplier so i just you know how to translate or chat with keyboard do the sweet things for me and send message so i tap there so this is what the message uh, i have sent this is the message i've sent you get it so if the supplier also reply you in chinese and um you want to read it that is where you make use of the swift sorry the high dictionary so this hello that you use the high dictionary to do the reading and so on and so forth then you are just good to go so folks this is how we create um a good login credentials for system it these credentials can allow you to log into taobao can allow you to log into tmall at the same time the 1688 and that of uh, alipay so see you in my next uh, video